Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So this is my first What Did I Get video of 2021. It's mainly cardstock. I needed to do a big replen after all of the samples that I'd made for my releases and all of the Christmas makes. So I've kind of got a lot of, yeah, just coloured card, but I'll show you where I've brought that from. I also have some wonderful gifts that I have been sent for my birthday that I recently celebrated. So I wanted to share them along with some beautiful cards that many of you have made me as well. But first of all, we'll start off with the cardstock. So first of all, I picked up these pads here. Now these were 75p each in the range. Originally it had just 75p on the yellow. And then when I went to check out, they were all 75p. So I kind of wished I'd gone back and picked up some more, but it's fine. These are gonna last me quite a while. In terms of GSM, I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't actually say here, but you get 60 sheets, A5, and you get three different shades of yellow. So I've got that like lemon color, going into that lovely sunshine yellow and then more of a an orangey yellow. I'm thinking these are about 200, 220, but the reason I went for this size is because I find myself sometimes cutting into my A4 or even my 12 by 12 when I just want a matte layer. So I figured if I went for these, it's gonna be great for my five by seven and even my six by six because the width of these is just under six. So usually my matte layer is five and three quarters. So they're gonna work across both of my popular sizes. But I just love the selection of colors. So I'm actually gonna pop all these into one of my little plastic tubs. But I've got two, like I said, two of the yellow. I've got the green here, which are gonna be great going into spring. I got two packs of the red. Again, there are three shades of each. So there's more of a coral, like a real red, and then more of a deeper red. And with that one there, you can see the three a little bit clearer. And then with this one here, again, you can see those three colors quite clear. Just thought, what a bargain for 75p for 60 sheets. And it's gonna save me, like I said, cutting into those bigger pieces which are going to be used more for my 3D projects. Then I saw this one here and it's a kilo of A4 220 GSM card. It's by Craft Sensations. Again this was all from the range so you can purchase the range online. I don't think they ship still outside of the UK but I will link it below. But this one here I just loved these really bright rich colours which is what I tend to always use but they also did half of the pack had these here which have already got this lovely print on so I'll just show you a quick flick through the that's it even that's a nice piece of card there so I'll just use the reverse of that but even that is a strip you know you can cut into these pieces but again it's a nice nice way it's great for your cards card blanks because once you build your mats and layers on top but also for 3d makes so you get I think it's four four of each color there and then into the greens, nice blue. That Again, that yellow is so bright. And that's what I like is those real bright colors. Lovely orange and then finishing off with that. So it's a little bit more of a wine kind of red color. So that's those ones. I need to sort out all my other, I've got like ones and twos of like odd colors. So I need to go through and put them into like rainbow order. And then here you've got polka dots. I like that they're matte, they're not coated. You know, they're just gonna work really well for me. Lovely stripe there, candy cane. Again, I might keep that one in my Christmas pile because I think that would work better for me. And then you've got the stars there. Tiny little flowers there. Polka dots, like that one. Again, that's a really nice snow scene for like a winter card actually. Stars. And then tiny little polka dots. Stripes. And then red with the white polka dots. And that's the back one there, so I'm going to flick that one around there. But I just thought, the and the price for this was two ninety nine, I believe. It was 2 or three ninety nine, and I just think that's a bargain. It's a nice weight. It's a colour core as well, which I like, and it's a bargain. So, again, that was that one. And then I thought, while I'm there, I'm going to try some other cards. So this is linen, so this is textured. But again, if it's card blank, that, the texture card doesn't really bother me. It's If I'm using it maybe to stamp on, then I wouldn't recommend this because obviously there is that texture. But you can see all the colours that you get here and you're allowed to kind of sample it. But there was a few where it almost got, because it says here, well, on one of them, I think it was actually, it said touch me or something. And there was just loads of dirty marks when you lifted this bit up. And this one was right at the bottom of the pile and it was nice and clean. So again, it's all craft sensations, which lovely bright colors. So this one's just two of each. That one. And then I picked up this 12 by 12 one. 
which is linen. Yeah, there we go, filmy. And loads of them had dirty marks, so I was just trying to find ones that didn't. But again, you, 12 by 12 I use so much and I just loved the rich bright colours. I think, yeah, some of them might be slightly similar to those ones, but you can see there. Yeah, in fact, I think this is possibly the same. Love this colour. It's very similar to the Tonic Studio one as well, that one more reds so I will peel these all out of the pad and I'll slot them all in with my other ones so I have all my yellows together all my reds so on and so forth again very inexpensive 2 dollars and then I picked up two other 12 by 12 pads so I've got this one here which is what I'm going to be starting to use for my Valentine series so I do plan to do a series whether there be one after the other or I'll just kind of pop them in between kind of now really I'm starting to make them but I loved this one and what I like is that one half on one side it's all just different shades of pink and then on the reverse you have these slight patterns so if you're making boxes and you want the lid or if you're folding something over they're all going to match really nicely because this is the pattern on this side and then you'll see the plane so they they work perfectly so you've got a polka dot there's two of each design i believe 30 sheets 15 printed double sided i'm sure it's two of each it just repeats i think so yeah polka dots and you've got just the white kind of cross there you've got this outline of a flower and then you've got some sprigs there this is just like string with little dots on it then you've got another beautiful design there that one's really fun with the flamingos i think that would just make a lovely gift bag and then you've got that geometric circle print Again, love this. I think that's so nice. This one here says, what does it say actually? Rome, Barcelona, Madrid, Paris. I think that's it. It just repeats those three. I like that side as well. That one's again, just a tiny little flower. More flowers, geometric, sprigs. I thought at first those were lips, like lipstick kisses, but they're actually just circles. But I do like that one. I think it's going to work well. But I just love the colours. Just going to be great for Valentine's even the flamingos so and then that's the other side but really nice again 2.99 yeah i'm pretty sure i'm sure all their pads were 2.99 and then underneath them all was this one <laughs> it's absolutely stunning so this one is called what is the name of this one they used to have them named it's just design pad mix and match and foiled so actually the one that i saw that really stood out to me was this brick I love this brick one here just thought it was so different so again I'll give you a quick flick through so you've got hearts with the foiling and then plain and you have this one here which is gorgeous and then that's it with the white this one just has foiled kind of stripes and then plain again just like lots of dots and triangles and then in a different colourway. Great for a masculine make, that one. I think that's really cool. And then that's just plain, completely. There's not even any pattern on that. Great denim kind of washed effect there. You get two of that one, the same. And then that one's got foiled lines through it. And then without, this is really nice. You get two of that one. And then, has that got foiled? No, that's gorgeous. I love the way it's got the watercolour background and then it's got the leaves on top. So you get two of that one. And then there's the brick I just really like it. I like the colour it's in, I think. And then this one here, I love this. It's like that bird's eye view, looking down at the, the sea there where it's all kind of rough waters. Really like it, very different. And it's gonna be great on my underwater themed cards. And then this one, look at that, it's stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. That one there. This reminds me, I don't know if it's something maybe Crafters Companion done, or the, the colourway or something about it, it's, it's, I've seen it somewhere, but I can't think where, but I do love all of these jungle kind of tropical leaves. And then you have that one there again with the stripe, which I think is a repeat from this end actually, just thinking about it. Oh no, it's a different colour. Yeah, so it's just a different colour. And then you get this, this kind of zigzag there with the splats of foil and then in the plane and then you finish with that one there. 
and then the plain paper again just nice to have that it's got a slight a slight design in it it's probably hard to see but there is a slight design there but I just thought it was lovely and it was the only one there that I could see they did have others with the design packs I've shown those in previous um, what did I get videos but um, I saw this one I just love the colors and I picked up some more of my acetate this is the 12 by 12 ones that I really like to buy I've I don't know how many times now I've bought this pack. I always try and pay less than £6 because I remember finding it from a place called Trago Mills which is not too far from me and they had it for 4 pounds and then when I kind of tried to look for it again it was usually around the 6 pounds mark. This one here I think I paid 5 pounds so that's fine I don't mind that but I like it it's a nice construction weight and it's great for doing you know making your 3D projects with because of the size. So I got another one of those. Then I picked up this. So the reason I got this was because it was so cheap and I was in hysterics looking at this in the shops. This 12 by 12 pad, 24 was a pound, one pound for all of this. And then this was all 50p each. Some of you might already have this. I'd never seen it before. It's called Violent Veg. Now I will put a disclaimer up right now. If you've got younger children watching, this isn't necessarily really going to be for them. To be fair, there are some things in here which are perfectly fine, but there is the odd rude pun innuendo that kind of thing in this so I just want to put that out there now you might just want to skip past this bit here because I know there are some younger people that sometimes watch and what you get in here is so it's like this you can see you get these four six by six which are going to go great onto a six by six card and then you can add toppers with your sentiments and so on so there's just some of these funny <laughs> fruits vegetables and uh, you can you know think what you want there so you get three of each design then you've got this one here which I think is brilliant just really grumpy different vegetables and then you've got the sprouts in the background so again three of that one then you've got more backgrounds here I think with this one there's sentiments and it's got something like time to relax as in obviously the herb there's some other funny ones I think there's one with that one that you could well, there's one for everyone but the ones that I've seen that I think oh yeah they go with these You've got obviously a Valentine's Eve day kind of one there and then these I did also think this would be quite funny to do a little I don't know I guess like a mini album or something like a journal because you have all these areas here but I guess these are your inserts for the cards so I think that's what they've intended for them to be used for then you get this one here so these ones aren't too bad actually give yourself a birthday treat with love from all of us, it's your birthday get smashed. You know they're all they're all quite funny ones. Wishing you a fruity day. Um, it's your birthday veg out. Happy birthday. Enjoy some peas and quiet. So again, three of that one, and then you've got some more funny scenes. And those are three of the same. This you've got this one here. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say too much about them. You can see the images. We'll just leave it there and that's it in the pad and you get an overview on the back there but you can see some of the cards so they've kept these quite tame so obviously these are on the main you know packaging so it's just here sorry ladies you're not dressed properly so there, he's obviously the bodyguard you know turning them away from the nightclub and then you've got wishing you a fruity day so they've used the um, I'm, I th I'm thinking they may have done paper card packs. With You can see this card here on the back with loads of strawberries and this one's got the lemons. So I'm wondering if there's that as well. Like I said, I haven't looked online yet, but there is violentveg.com. Check it out, see if they've got them as cheap as I managed to get them for. But also look on the range website if you're in the UK because you might be able to get them. Then there was these here. I'd already opened this one ready to show you. So these were 50p each. I can only see these two designs. So I picked two of the carrot ones, two of the parsnip in the way as they're doing some fishing. But you basically build up the decoupage. So you pop that one out, sit it on top and then you pop all these out to make 3D cards. And then you've got all these sentiments here. This one's quite funny. Brian loved the fresh air, the tranquility. And the fish nibbling his tackle <laughs> and then you've got some backgrounds there as well and you've got your envelope but I just thought for 50p I'm gonna make up you know they'll be quick to do and they're just some nice funny comical ones there and then I got these this, like I said this was all that was there so I've got one of everything there is obviously going to be a lot more to it but this one here's your veggie stickers Tracy gave herself a birthday treat and got her roots seen to but you could also have Tracy gave herself a birthday treat and then there's some other funny things to go with that 
I just love all the images, just the way the different expressions on them. And then these, in each of these you get two different, well in total actually there's four different decoupage scenes because there's this scene, that's no, that's a, that's one on its own, so that will go onto the cards. There's actually three different scenes on that one, and then three different, so you get six, six different scenes there. This one's really funny. <laughs> and the bath time and stuff but I'm going to be using these I might do this during a Facebook live I think it would be hilarious to do and then be mine let's get fruity you're juicy you're a chip off the old block you know most of them are okay but there is the odd one where I'm just like yeah there's a few on there I'm not going to say because again I don't know who's watching um love this one I like this one with the nightclub I think that's going to work well for with friends um yeah, questionable one at the bottom there. <laughs> and that one on the tube. <laughs> and then the stickers again. So it's just, it, again, it's my kind of sense of humour. You know, I'm the kind of person that sends my mum and dad a card saying from your favourite daughter. So yeah, it's just, if you like it, check it out. Like I said, I'll share the links. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I picked up a couple of these. I used to have tons of these, actually, but um, I changed, you know, as many of us do we change our minds with storage and things and then I changed the actual units and sold them or well, I think my mum had them actually but now I could do with a few so I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do actually is this collection the violent veg I'm actually going to pop into one of these but they're just really good when you do have collections and I've got a new dovecraft collection that I want to keep all together as well so these were $3.99 each from the range really nice solid 12 by 12 storage boxes so I'll probably end up getting a few more actually because it would be quite nice and then you can stack them up and you can label you know on the side there so I'll just use my labeler just so I can see and then pull it out like a book really and everything's all there together then I just picked up some more of the craft UK 5 by 7 and 6 by 6 card blanks these are the ones I use all the time I make a lot of the magazine samples using these so I go through them very quickly so I always usually pay around 3 99 and 4 99 for these ones then I also picked up more of these because when I make the samples I put them in these to protect them when I post them so that they don't get wet so again I go through these a lot so I've got the 6x6 and the 5x7 sometimes I do the sometimes I get the Anita's ones I've got unbranded you know as in I just get them from Amazon and they don't have any packaging on them so but they're the sizes that I always use and I do have a slightly bigger for 6x8 cards because I've made a few larger ones as well so just got some more of those and then a couple of other little random bits here just got some more of my double sided tape I like this one it's the ultra tape it's never let me down and I can rip it I don't have to cut it and it's just yeah again I go through that all the time then I saw this just in the bargain bin they had loads of the vintage lace which is the Sarah Davis signature collection but this particular one was only £1.25 and it's just really nice big flower dies so you can obviously cut that in anything you want and I just thought it was gorgeous so these are petite posies and I just thought for £1.25 as an absolute bargain I'm going to grab one I kind of thought I should have got maybe a two more and just pop them in for the giveaways but I have a lot of stuff for the giveaways anyway but they're just lovely really really nice I like that you can layer up the small ones or you can pop them all on top of each other so I'm going to pop over to the crafters companion website look at the vintage lace and just see what the inspiration is like there as well then I saw these and these are all hearts so again I've got these to work with some of my valentine's makes and I don't have if any stencils with hearts on so this was only 149 or 199 they used to be a pound years ago and I got loads of them you get five stencils in a pack but they've increased slightly but you can see along the bottom there the ones you get so you get one six by six with just the big heart and all like the starburst coming off and then this has got lots of tiny hearts on it and then you've got more hearts there but in that kind of gallop mermaids kind of um, gales that's the word I'm looking for more hearts there but slightly bigger and then that's like an ombre of hearts which I thought was really nice and that's the one on the front there I just think that's going to look really nice on the background on a card and then I just wanted to show you some of my the I've got yeah a couple of birthday presents which are craft related but some beautiful birthday cards that I received from many of you and I just thought I would share them at the end of this what did I get so first of all I'm just going to show you these I asked these were on my um, wish list and my mum got me these. These are Angelina fibres. I've used these before, I've never shared them on the channel. You can get some amazing effects with these when you apply heat. You can stamp onto them. You can also use them in felting, other kind of soft crafts if that's what you're into. 
but I've got these ones who I've not opened yet because they're in this vacuum pack bag so I'm just going to carefully open that and they expand so already can you hear it starting to be more like this and they are just very thin fibers like glittery strands basically and so these are all going to start to expand so I will give them some time just open up that one as well and I can see them lifting now making little crackling sounds but basically it's really hard to kind of explain but you just you don't need a lot you just take out some of the fibers kind of arrange them and then you put them between um, like a grease proof sheet or even some copy paper apply a low heat to them and they will start to compress together and make a flat surface and then you can do different tricks with stamping onto them and all kinds of things and I just wanted to I was reminded by them they came up on a search on Amazon I was searching for something else and they were in like the suggested side and I was like oh my gosh I totally forgot about these I yeah I want them so I think I've got a nice choice of colors this one here because obviously you can change the color you can add inks to them if you wanted to but I love that holographic iridescent kind of look and then I've got the silver, so that pretty much goes with everything. And then I just love these two colours here as well. But you can see already they're starting to, you know, really puff up now. So keep an eye out for future videos. I'll probably again do this during a Facebook Live. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, using these in my, my cards. I doubt I'd use them on 3D projects. It is going to be more for just really nice toppers and stuff on the cards that I make. I got this bag here from my auntie saying it's a crafting thing you would you wouldn't understand um, these I use all the time when I go and do my food shopping and just when I'm out and about I always keep one of these kind of wrapped up in my handbag so I have quite a few nice craft related ones so that was really cool I like that one a lot then I received a it was actually a Christmas parcel which my friend Kimberly who's part of our mixed up grafters group she actually posted it on the 11th of November and it arrived oh gosh when did it come about three days ago so about the 13th of January so two months eight weeks so we're, I'm still you know receiving Christmas stuff and a couple of Christmas cards and I don't mind I think it's actually really nice to be receiving things like that in January January is traditionally such a somewhat miserable month anyway because it's after Christmas but add a pandemic and lockdown on top of that I think it's really nice when those things drop through my letterbox so this was a real nice surprise so she's um I'm going to show all the cards at the end but she put a little note as well and she said these are to be used for going onto gift boxes and gift bags or even as decorations and I just think it's going to look so nice to put all these on a wreath that's what I'm kind of thinking Kimberly they're gorgeous let me take one out so there's not the glare there and they I mean she packaged it you know so well but aren't they gorgeous can take off some of the glue strings there really really pretty and she's made these another one there she's put glitter on them as well or it's glittered card I just think they're lovely. I mean, they would look nice as little tree decks as well. So I don't know. I've got, I mean, she's done loads for me. I just thought it was so sweet of her. So thank you so much. I'm going to pop them in my Christmas kind of big tub that I've got. And then that'll be a nice surprise for me when I pull that out. I usually get it out like at the end of October. So I can, you know, be reminded then and start using that in some of my crafty makes for Christmas. She also sent these, just again, just peeling off some of the glue strings. And I think the fluff from him is transferred onto the penguin. But she's made these, they're little, is it rice? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Or sand? There's a gnome which made me laugh because lots of you, especially on the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group, absolutely love gnomes. And my sister saw these. She was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I've got these three little sock, sock puppets, is it? Sock ornaments. I'm not entirely sure, but they're very sweet. And the fact that she's made these, I just think it's lovely. They did his... Um, his little arms there did get, oh, that one's come off, but it's only hot glue, so I'll be able to sort those out. But um, yeah, again, I thought it was very sweet and anything that's been handmade, um, I always appreciate because I know how much work goes into these things that we make. So again, thank you so much, Kimberly. It was so sweet of you. Then my friend Steve sent me this. This is also from his wife and a gorgeous box. I've made something like this, very similar. I love the beads on the end here. So it's like a little drawstring absolutely stunning and he's used the beach life papers 
to decorate all of the sides there as well, which I thought was really nice. And then inside, <laughs> there's a little story behind the Bob Ross bobblehead because I actually received one for Christmas. And he said that when he saw that I'd received one for Christmas, they were then unsure to give this to me. But then he said, you can never have too many Bob Ross bobbleheads. And that's very true. So it's going to go with my other one. And I love it. So if you've not seen a Bob Ross bobblehead, I have him here. And I do have a secret crush on Bob Ross. And this is it here. And, and this makes a nice little clouds that just float around and, and have fun all day. And there's tons of little... They're just loads of little phrases, Bob Ross phrases. So that was so sweet, thank you so much. And then this one I've not seen, and these are happy little puzzles. And there's actually two in here. So there's two different puzzles there, and I will do these. And they show you, so you get one, which is, I know some people will look at this and be like, what is this about? But it's just, it brings me joy. Um, there's that one there with Bob and his big smiley face. And then there's this one here with one of his drawings. So I thought that was cool. And then there's another little easel here, which is the words, the works and wisdom of Bob Ross. And there's just different images there and all of Bob Ross quotes as well. So really, really thoughtful. Absolutely love it. And it made me laugh. So it made me laugh. So thank you so much to Steve and Maria for given me that for my birthday so I think it's just so thoughtful and I received this here I don't want to show all the letters because some people have you know shared personal things with me this is from Debbie I'm not going to say surnames either this is from Debbie who's also part of our group but I just like to always show look at the gorgeous little gift box so I have opened this obviously but it's a little um, tie there with the ribbon isn't it cute it's so sweet and in here is a gorgeous ring my sister actually got me this ring which is a new addition there's liquid in it and then beads in the center i love those rings and then this one here look isn't that gorgeous lovely it's like a resin plastic yeah it goes in the same there we go fits lovely it's adjustable as well but it does fit so that was really kind of you thank you so much i then received this one here i'm just checking them before i bring it in so this is from Anne, and in here She's made me a Tunnock's tea cake coaster. She put a felt on the back as well. It's wonderful. And it's funny because here is the diary, 2021 diary, which my sister got me in my stocking for Christmas. So yeah, I just, I love it. But that's gonna stay on my desk and be used. And she also made, she makes jewelry. Look at this gorgeous dream catcher that she's made all the beads on there absolutely beautiful just keeping them in the packaging just so I can remember um you know I want to send thank yous to everybody so yeah isn't that gorgeous and she said I had to um what did she put something in the letter about um to help you have sweet dreams and I just thought that was really nice so pretty love those colors so thank you for that Anne. and then I got this lovely gift and try not to get my lamp there we go you can see it there now this is from Anne and she, you packaged this really well Anne, but she said this is pronounced Kargis and it's from, I believe it's from somewhere local to her. On the back here it says it's handmade at the Wild Goose Studio, Kinsale Co, Cork Island. And basically it says after years in decline the Gaelic language is experiencing a resurgence and its beauty can be seen in the award winning designs. And um, yeah, like I said, how did she say again? Care, Kargis and it means friendship she wrote a lovely letter along with a card which i share but isn't that wonderful and i think this is i mean it's heavy so this looks like it's on some kind of metal i'm going to check out their website just so i can find out a little bit more about it but i'm going to pop this up probably going to go in my dining room it's just wonderful really really thoughtful of you Anne. so thank you so much for sending me that I also got this here, so this is one of those little, you can put anything in this, but I, at the moment everyone's putting their anti back in it, so I will be doing that. And this is from Christine and Maisie, again with some lovely cards, which you'll see shortly. But it's got mixed up craft there and then Sam on the front. So I'm going to fill that up shortly and pop it in my bag. And then I also received some chocolates. I had another one of these 
in the red so it was the same chocolate as this one but I've already eaten that one and I'm probably going to have this one after I've finished filming because it's salted caramel and I haven't tried this one yet and it's new so I can't wait but really thoughtful you can never go wrong with chocolates for me <laughs> then I received this here and I got a lovely little card here as well it says especially for you with hugs too and it says dear Sam I know how much you like Bob Ross so here's a little gift for you I hope you like it your tutorials are amazing best wishes on your birthday love from Jackie thank you so much Jackie that was so kind of you I actually think I'm going to put this on the front of one of my sketchbooks because I think it's going to work really well on the front of that and I'll get to see it every time I pull out that sketchbook and it says here we all have different ideas and they're all good there is no good or bad so thank you so much it was so thoughtful of you there's actually now another day because during the filming of the um, first part of the video I actually had some more cards arrive so I thought you know I'll just hold on for a few more days and then I'll share them all so first of all I've got this one here Happy birthday on the front. This is from Christine and family. And then when you open it up, you have this. And I think it's a, I think it's meant to be a box style, but I actually really like, yes, yeah, so I think it's like a diorama like that. But I actually really like it. And that's how I've had it displayed like this. I just think it's really cool. Love it. I just love the, you know, the dimension to it. I love the colours that you've used and I like that you've used the happy lockdown birthday there. I think that's awesome. So thank you. I've enjoyed that one because I've taken a lot of them down now because I've had them up for a, a few weeks. So this one here is from Benita and this is using um, my pop-up dies and she's used the Let's Hear It For The Girls. So that's all the makeup and she's put my name in the middle there of the perfume bottle. And you've got the cupcake and all that shine there and the lips. Lovely. Really, really nice, Benita. Thank you so much and then I have this one here so this one is from again I just want to check there's not surnames on some of these so this one is from Anne love this one love this border dye or trim that you've used there and again great colours really really nice with the happy birthday heat embossed there in the middle and then I've got this one here Again, a lot of these I've shared on my channel, so it's really nice having them, you know, for myself. But this has got a little spinning, gorgeous zebra in the middle. Love the papers here. And that's from Linda. Kick your heels. I think it's awesome. So, so cute. And then I have this one here. This is actually from my mum and dad. My mum's a crafter, for anybody that doesn't know, so she's made this one here. This is the envelope gatefold card. Um, what I'll try and do is maybe link some of these card tutorials in the description box in case anybody's new and they'd, they'd like to make these but again love it these are stamping up papers I think she's had in her stash for a while uh, it's your birthday have a lovely day so thank you mum and dad this one here is from let me check on the back this is from yeah this is from Patricia I love the Daisy May teacups she's used on the front there holographic card which is my favourite glossy accents on there and then this is the triple panel you can see again that holographic card for the frames love this heart die here as well it's really nice love it they've taken up so much space but in a good way because <laughs> so I've had so many this one here Sam it's your special day so I recognize these dies and then when you open it up this is my twist and pop mixed with the creative stamping die um, stamps that have been so popular we've just all overall mixed up crafters groups so many of us have them and I just love that you've stamped them all there just looks awesome and that's from Simone so thank you so much Simone it's lovely then I have this one love the colour palette on this so this is using my tower dies this is the landscape tower die love this banner that fits perfectly within that section and then this is using my chunky alphabet dies Again, these are really nice, wonderful and awesome. I think they're stunning and the papers, it's just really striking. And this is from Anne, gorgeous Anne, thank you so much. Really is, really special. And then I've got this one here, which intrigued me because I don't know how this has been done. It's almost like it's, it's heat embossed, but I don't know how you've got that. It's like you've encapsulated loads of like, building flakes or something really really cool love the effects a really cute card thank you and this is from Faye and she's used my yay it's your birthday and again you've got it's a really cool it's like almost like a gravel kind of embossing powder really really lovely thank you so much 
Then this one here is a thank you card. This was from Maisie. Oh, bless Maisie, yes. Um, I sent Maisie a gift just full of um, some craft supplies because she's kind of starting off really. So I thought I'd, I had lots of stuff. So I, I went and sent her some and she, this is a thank you card that she sent me. Really cute. It's one of those kind of double, double flip cards. I can't remember what it's called, but thank, thank you Maisie. I love the, um, the colours you've chose there. I love that glitter paper. And then this one here is from my brother-in-law's mum. She's a crafter and she has her own craft room. She makes cards, she does a lot of soft crafts as well. And she's done this one here. So she stamped this really sweet background. And so she's done a bit of inking there as well. And it says, share a smile today. Really nice, thank you very much. And then this one here looks like it's a hunky-dory set to me. So it's like a desk with a planner. You've got the quill and the ink many happy returns and this one is from Jackie thank you so much Jackie it's really nice and it's the slimline style which I like as well and then this one here so a lot of you recognize this one so this is the corner pop-up easel card and it's um, I love shopping and you've got all the designer shopping bags there and it says wishing you a happy birthday and this one is from Kim thank you so much Kim again look at the, the holographic card is just fantastic it just it's my favorite which you all know because you've <laughs> lots of you have put it on the cards for me then i got this one here which i now know is carnation crafts i thought it was i thought it was either tattered lace or carnation crafts isn't it cute so she's got sam calcott mixed up craft plymouth and it's got all these bits kind of exploding out of this envelope i love the way it folds over and the edge die on this it says sending you love and this is from shirley love this little image here and the bow it's just super cute thank you so much it's lovely then i've got another triple panel here so you can see the happy birthday with the stars and then you pull it out look at that the color i mean that is me i mean look at my jumper <laughs> it all matches isn't that gorgeous all the glitter absolutely stunning and this one is from tracy ann thank you so much tracy ann it's gorgeous love those papers as well and then I've got this one, which is my box card that I'd done and I had um, all different flowers. It was like, um, it was using the Herbarium collection by Craft Consortium. But this is from Kath and Kath combined it with the, those stamps that Simone used on the card and that's from the Creative Stamping Magazine. Unfortunately, I believe it's sold out now. So those of you that got it, well done, because it is just such a wonderful set. You've got Sanding Crafty Hugs, which is heat embossed. And then you've got all the glossy accents. Can you see there? It's so cool. This is really, really lovely. I mean, I'd love to display them all, but I just physically don't have the room to keep them all in my craft room. But this one, I think I can fit in somewhere because it's quite a decorative looking one as well. So I think I might keep this permanently displayed. I might find a little space on one of my shelves. So thank you. That is really, really cool. This one here is from Steve. So this one pops up and it's the building block card, I believe. And um, love the colours, love that glitter card. And then it all folds flat so it's easy to fit into your envelope. And I've done a double version of this as well. So I've done the single and I've got the double. So it's this, this again, but on this side. Really, really cool. Great for kids' cards as well if you do the building blocks with like ABC and things like that. So that was, again, really nice. This one here. Well, it's so nice seeing my stamp sets on cards. And this is using the Fairy, is it something Fairy Dovecraft collection? I remember that one. So it's another triple panel. So this one... Oh, there we go. That's using my present edge dies. And then these look like the Tonic Studio typewriter dies. They're really nice, but I love the flowers in the middle. Again, the way that holographic card catches the light, just really sets off the cards. That one is from Kimberly. And then this here is something that um, Rachel sent me. She said she was trialing this and she's done laminated one side. So it's a postcard, birthday postcard. So that's the happy birthday die from one of my wiper die sets. Really nice, really different. I thought it was lovely. So thank you, Rachel. And then I've got this one here, which is from Denise, and this is the kite fold. So you lift this up here and inside she's put boo. <laughs> so nice, and it's using the paper posies, the Dovecraft paper posies, which is lovely. You deserve to soar. Yeah, it's a lovely sentiment, so thank you so much. So again, one of my favorite um, folds, that uh, kite fold. And then this one here is from Maisie. So this was the birthday card from Maisie. That was the thank you card. And this is just the same as the triple panel, but it, she's not put the front piece on. It says she's decorated it really nice. I love these. These are the uh, paper posies, little wood 
sentiments and then inside isn't that lovely I love that you've die cut the bow like that I think it looks really nice and then she's used them there happy birthday again that's using my chunky alphabet dies are so everybody's using them they're just you know a really good set so yeah thank you Maisie it's so nice and then I got this one which is again using the creative stamping and this is the slide and stand so you can see look at that holographic card how it frames that love the arrangement that you've done there and this one is from Debbie and then it just stands up like so really nice and then I've got another I think this is another oh no this is the inner panel I think this one was called so this is from Jeanette and then you open it up isn't that cool with all the butterflies love it absolutely gorgeous so so nice and the papers look it's like a textured paper actually as well and then I've got this one here this is from Deborah that lovely silver mirrored card and then you open it up and this one was the step card I think or concertina step that I made I can't remember and it's held together with a ribbon through the two here so it keeps the center part together isn't that lovely and these are I think they're paper boutique papers that I remember having can't remember the name of the collection but I do recognize those make a wish I think that's lovely really really nice thank you Deborah and then this one here the last one this is actually a Christmas card from Kimberly which she sent with those lovely poinsettia paper decorations but because this has come from overseas obviously there's been a huge delay so like I said at the beginning there has been things you know kind of still coming through my door but it's so nice to still receive that so I had this displayed with all my birthday cards so it's one of the I can't remember what this one's called it's lovely really really nice love this image of the lamp so yeah thank you I was just so blown away by all these cards that I received and then also just want to show this one which my one of my best friends sent me and uh, this said this is going to look rubbish next to your other cards sorry and it's from my friend Catherine and inside she put p.s this card made me laugh no cards would be as good as yours <laughs> I just thought it was brilliant I just thought I'd share that with you all as well so that is everything from my what did I get for my birthday so it's a bit longer than usual, but I did want to, I always like to give people where I can for all the lovely things that I get sent. Because I do, you know, it, it touches me all the time. It's just it's so lovely that I get sent these things. So thank you so, so much. Um, as always, I will link what I can in the description box below. And I'll be back very soon with more fun tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.